You are awesome. And RPG in a Box is awesome. So let's get started. We're looking at the Voxel Editor's toolbar again, this time focusing on the center portion, which has different display options for the Voxel Editor. So let's open up RPG in a Box and learn more about them. Alrighty, so we are back in the Voxel Editor. I have the Justin model open, and we're going to be looking at the center of the toolbar. The first button, which looks like a grid, is the display grid setting, which quite simply turns on and off the display of the voxel grid. Next up, we have display voxel outlines. This setting turns on and off the voxel outlines. As you can see, the little outlines around each voxel in the Justin model turned off, they're gone, turned on, they're on. Very simple. Next is display surface edges. This setting is off by default and turning it on will highlight the edges of each surface. As you can see here, they are shown in a neon pink color. I've opened the dungeon stairs model and turned off the display grid and voxel outlines to better demonstrate this next option, which is display ambient occlusion. This enables and disables the display of ambient occlusion in the editor. Ambient occlusion is a shading technique and is most obvious in corners and crevices. This setting can be helpful for seeing how your model will look in a game with ambient occlusion on, but I prefer leaving it off as it can make it difficult to tell the exact colors of voxels that are in shadow. And after that, we have display ground, which toggles on and off this flat plane underneath the model. Next is display attach points. The Justin model is perfect for demonstrating this option because it has three attach points one on each hand, and one on the head. Attach points are shown in the voxel editor as translucent white voxels with the chain link icon on each face, and toggling this setting will toggle whether or not those voxels are visible in the voxel editor. Display attached objects. This enables and disables the display of any objects attached to attach points. Since there aren't any objects attached to our attach points right now, it doesn't do anything, so we'll need to come back and try this setting after we attach an object. Preview Game Mesh displays the generated mesh as it will appear in-game. The model will need to be saved in order to generate an in-game mesh before this feature can be used. Preview Game Mesh is especially useful for testing marching cubes and voxel transparency, which we'll learn about in a later tutorial. Preview Attached Objects opens a window, which allows you to quickly choose an attach point, an object to attach to that attach point. You can also choose to have this object automatically attached to the chosen attach point in game. The attach point dropdown selects the attach point on the current model to select to, that is the model you have open. The object model dropdown lets you select from a list of objects to attach to your current model, and the object attach point Will let you select from a list of attach points contained in the selected object. Now in order for the preview to work, the object that you choose must have an attach point on it. It might sound complicated, but it's a straightforward process, so let's try it out. I'm going to select the right hand from the Justin model, the sword object, and then the right hand from the object's attach point. Now, if I wanted to have Justin automatically holding a sword in game, I'd check the automatically attach this object in game checkbox. Say OK. And now our Justin model is holding a sword in his right hand. However, I could just as easily select Justin's head attach point, the sword again, say OK. And now Justin has a sword horn. Now that we have attached objects, we can use the display attached objects button to both show and hide our attached objects. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.